subscribe, welcome back and hey to everyone that is new as well. I hope you're all all right and that you've had a really good week. Um, so this week what we're gonna be doing is what's gonna happen next in your love life. I've had a lot of people, uh, the singletons out there saying, oh, can you, since we did that uh, thing a couple of weeks back about the, the sea, the uh, collar, and the animal. People have said to me, oh, can you do us a singles reading? But also I just wanted to open up to absolutely everyone and just say what's gonna happen next in your love life. With the full moon coming into Pisces, there's gonna be kind of a lot of emotions flying around everywhere. So it feels like it is the right time now to do this reading. So it's gonna be what's happening next in your love life. Now, I will show you the Lenormand and I will show you the tarot and you can pick which deck you wanna choose. Okay, so which card you want. So this is card number one, and this is card number two. So if you go to the cards that you are most drawn to, this time all I need is your energy. I don't need your person's energy. So if you just feel your emotions, feel where you are in your heart center, and if you can just push that energy into the cards that you are most drawn to, Okay, the cards that really like make you feel, oh yeah, that looks like an interesting deck. So how we work is we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Whenever I say we, I mean me and my guides. Um, I'm a psychic medium, tarot and, and the cards are just my tool. I channel directly from spirit. Um, so we use your strongest mutual energy between everyone involved. So number one, number two, make your choice. Let's do this. Okay, so let's start off with deck number one. Now I'm gonna start off by doing your Lenoma. As, as I said before, it's like the most sexy word, isn't it? Lenoma. <laughs> deck number one. Okay, so we're just going to get into your collective energy on deck one. The collective energy of everyone watching. So Lenoma work very, very differently from the tarot. They give us very blunt, very direct answers. Tarot, um, there is a lot of intuition and guidance, you know, again, as I say, channel directly from spirit. Lenoma work on a completely different system. Um, and they're very, very fabulous getting us the direct answers that you need. So can you tell me what is going to happen next in the collective energy of deck number one's love life? What's going to happen next? Let's see what comes up, see what spirits say, see what the cards say and get the overall picture. Oh, that's a good start. Okay. So we've got a couple of songs coming round. Um, the first one is Do It Like A Dude by Jessie J. I'm sure she's British as well. Do It Like A Dude, I used to love that song as an empowerment song. So that's coming forward. Um, the other one that we got was a, a love song. And again, I can never remember who sings half of the songs that Spirit give me. Um, but this one said, take my hand, take my whole life, life long or something along those lines. Let me just get one more. Oh, this is, this is good. So your cards are looking really good. Just from the offset of the Lenormand, straight away, there is a really strong, powerful energy over here. So it looks like you guys are gonna be going through a bit more of a prosperous time. Things have been quite heavy around you at the moment. Things have been quite difficult. You haven't been sure whether to move on, stay put, stay single, try and get in a relationship. You haven't really known what to do. And it feels that you've given up this control now and said, okay, universe, you know what I want. Let me open up that expanse to you and you bring to me what it is that I need from the situation. So you have this card of abundance really coming forward first and foremost into your energy, that you're actually getting ready to reap the reward of everything that you have been putting forward. Um, I posted on Instagram the other day, I don't know if you saw, but I posted on there um, a wonderful, wonderful manifesting quote about bringing to you the new opportunities that you desire. So if you haven't gone and had a look at the Instagram, go and find it. It's also on the Facebook Mr. Love Tarot page as well. Go and have a look. Um, if you say that three times a day, it's gonna really open up the expanse of the energy coming towards you. So first and foremost, you are going into a more prosperous time. Next to it, we have Lily. So this prosperous time is gonna be feeling a lot more peaceful. There's also this kind of sensuality coming forward over here. So when we're looking at what's next in your love life, if we're going down the peaceful side of things, we also have this sensitivity that comes with it. So this is saying that the people that um, are, what's happening in your love life, what's gonna happen next in your love life, is the sense of abundance, 
and sensitivity. So the sensitivity can be intimacy, it can be gentle energy, it can be passionate energy, um, also a much, a, a, a very much needed calmness spirit is saying. So you have this calmness coming forward from this prosperity. So you're really getting ready to reap the rewards and it does feel that after this full moon is kind of finished, this is when these new opportunities are gonna be coming your way. So through this kind of sensitivity, through this period that you're gonna be going through, you then have news coming forward. Okay, so this could be news from your person if you're already, you know, wanting to be with someone with your, with your person or it can be someone new. There is news coming forward and this news is going to be based on this kind of sensitivity, intimacy. So you've got a very, very brand new beginning starting right here, right now, if you choose to take it. Now, it could be a beginning with your person or it can be a new beginning with someone new. Either way, you've got messages coming in, you've got people that are interested in you, and you've got this whole new way of looking at life. You've been so down and such a heavy energy that it's really time that you started to release it. And that is what you've been working on. You've been working on surrendering the situation, you've been working on letting it go, and through that you have this news coming towards you, okay? So prosperity, sensitivity, calmness, intimacy, and news on that front, messages. Okay, that being said as well from there, um, some of you guys, this isn't all of you, but some of you guys, if you're interested in a specific person and they are saying, oh, we're just friends, I don't really know what I want, I just, you know, let's just keep it as friends. There are underlying emotions to that friendship, okay? So again, news coming forward from a friend, okay? Also, some of your friends might be potentially pregnant as well, that is coming up. Um, but you've also got this very much this new beginnings stepping forward into your energy, okay? So your person or, or the person that you're gonna end up with, your next person is gonna be bringing news towards you. It's a much more established connection and this is why friendship is coming forward. Sometimes it can be a relationship. But the establishment of your connection is gonna be based on a friendship level, which is good because you need to be best friends with your partner, right? You do, you need to be best friends with your partner. So this news is coming forward. And through this news of your person, of your new person, of your old person, whoever it will be, whoever's coming next, you have this new beginning, okay? Potentially children are also being flagged up, but new beginnings, okay? So either friends getting pregnant, that's gonna be like one or two of you friends are potentially getting pregnant. Um, other than that, this is a new beginning based on your person in your love life coming forward. Okay, so a lot of good things coming your way in the coming weeks and months, a lot of prosperity, a lot of prosperity, a lot of news, a lot of messages, a lot of things moving forward. So if you've been feeling that you're at a standstill, that standstill has now come to a close as these steps get taken, okay? So there's a clear progression route happening here. There is clear movement from your part, moving yourself forward, um, and there is great news to be coming. Okay, really positive news, messages coming in from a new lover, from an old lover. What's next? This is what is next. Okay, so with that, let's have a look at the tarot as well. Let me just put these at the top so I can look at them at the same time. Okay, so let me just get into all your energies again. Just taking the energy out of the Lenormand and putting it into the tarot as we are working. Okay, I just got another song from Spirit. I just got, um, I have a dream, a fantasy. I can't remember who said that. Was that Take That? I have. I know it was Abba, wasn't it? It wouldn't take that. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of that number one. Okay, can you tell me what's going to happen next in their love lives? What's going to happen next in their love lives? Yeah, Spirit just showed me a clairvoyant image of a crossroads. So you guys have been meandering, they're saying. You've been kind of walking down a pathway, working out, trying to think what direction to go to, and you've got to this crossroads, and you haven't known what to do. And this is where this giving up control is coming forward, that you're letting the universe take charge of it all. And you've got, the, you've got these crossroads, you've got a choice to make, you've got a decision to make. There is no rush in you making this choice or decision, no spirit is saying. You don't have to rush to let things happen. They will naturally occur. What's next in the love life? Four, five, okay. 
So you have a choice between two. Now, if you guys are thinking about letting go of the past or bringing in the future, there is very much this choice between two coming forward. So it could be a choice between two lovers, a choice between two circumstances, a choice between two situations. Spirit are saying with this, go to the one that burdens you less. Okay, now I know that's easier said than done, but that's kind of their advice on it. When it's coming to making a choice and a decision on the person that you want to be with, go to the one that's gonna burden you less. Compatibility and chemistry are very, very different things, and chemistry is absolutely phenomenal, it is amazing, but as we've said before, when we're looking at the connection between the two of you, when it's built on a friendship, it has a lot more stable foundations for this to be progressing in the right direction. Okay, so with this card, Spirit is saying, go to the ones that burden you less. Go to the ones that um, you feel this stronger bond to, where you can build a relationship on, on, on grounded, uh, on ground rather than on quicksand, okay? So be aware of that when it comes to making a choice. You're still feeling that there's a little bit of a block in the way. You're still feeling that you're trying to move yourself forward and every step you turn, there's a block potentially because of your person. Um, but again, keep putting one foot in front of the next, let the universe take control. You are going where you need to go. As I said, uh, say to people in private readings, it's about getting on the life bus. So we go through life, we step on the life bus and we can get off at whatever destination we want to get off at. Sometimes your person will be waiting at that destination, sometimes they'll be at the stop afterwards, um, but you can get off at any stop you want, you can stay as long as you want and when you've had enough you can get back on the life bus and go to your next destination. You are only as stagnant as you want to make yourself, okay? So just be aware of that, keep pushing and progressing yourself forward. Self-love um, is key to all this and I know that always sounds like a cliche, but the more time you spend looking after yourself, and you don't you have to heal tons and tons of inner trauma unless you really want to go and do the shadow work, but the more time you just spend looking after yourself, doing your nails, going doing your hair, lads, uh, going out for a drink with the boys, anything along those lines, that is all part of self-love and self-care. So it's the little things in this that will help you to progress forward, to help you make a choice and a decision on what it is that you want to do. There is no rush, as we've said before, there is no rush in any of it. You can take your time with it all. Don't feel subjected to other people's timing, Spirit is saying. You know, um, again, they're bringing, up, uh, they're bringing up children, especially because it's kind of flagged up here. If you're worrying that um, your ovaries are getting old, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Spirit is saying with that, you are, your body ages at different time frames. You know, your face ages differently from your hands, your hands ages differently from your ovaries, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, get into that mind frame of keeping your thoughts positive about what you know, what direction you want to go in, how old you really are. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm 34, but I've got the ovaries of a 20 year old. Anything along those lines, if you're specifically worried about kids. If you're not worried about them, again, it's kind of talking to yourself and empowering yourself to make the choices and decisions that are right for you. Dear universe, what energy, space, magic, miracles, consciousness can I be to expand infinite possibilities for myself with regard to my love life? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so it is. Say it three times a day. Dear universe, what would it take for me to be living my dream life as if by magic and with total ease? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so it is. There is no rush. Let the universe take control of it. Remember that you are more in control of this than what you think you are. I love this saying that spirits say to me, you are not a human having a spiritual experience. You are a spirit having a human experience. And it's really important that you remember that when you're feeling bogged down and you're feeling heavy and you feel like the pathway might be blocked. Okay, you've got all the tools and techs and techniques that you need to move yourself forward, but it's getting that strength and courage to actually do it. If you need any manifesting plans, just give me a shout. Those are tailored specifically to you and your needs and what it is that you want. So keep up your options. You know, if you are still waiting for your person to come back, keep your options open for someone new. Dear universe, if it isn't blah, fill in the gap, can you please send me someone better that I will love equally or more than? Because what you're doing then is you're keeping both options open on the door and your person can return to you and you can also bring someone new in. Regardless of what direction it's going in, you've got news coming forward. You've got news, you've got new beginnings and news. Okay, so there's messages flying in. There's new beginnings happening. 
But at the moment, if you're feeling in this stagnant energy, keep your options open. Like we said, if it isn't them, send me someone better that I will love equally or more than. And that will help you to move forward. Let the universe take control of it. If you try and control your own situations, a lot of the time, you will find that the situations become stagnant. So it is really important that you keep pushing yourself forward. The other side of things that we've got going on here is this kind of devil energy stepping forward, this addiction energy. So if you are worrying or struggling and um, feeling that you're per you know you can't break away from the person, um, this devil card, your person, if you're thinking about your old person, your person isn't going anywhere. They will keep coming back to you, just like an addiction. They will keep coming back to you. Um, you will, when they come back, you get the highest of highs, then you go and reach the plummet, you get the lows, you keep searching for the high. They are in the background of your mind. So even if you want to move away from your situation, they are still in the background. So you can still keep the opportunities open and available to, to you and what it is that you guys want. You know, there is new love if you allow it. There is also potential of old love returning to you, okay? Definite choice between two. So when your work, what you're putting through at this moment in time, where you are, um, you are doing the work, you are doing the inner work, it is all working out for you. That's another thing you can say, the universe, this is all working out for me, the universe has got my back, thank you, thank you, thank you, so be it, so it is. There is so much that you can do on a universal level to bring this all to your fruition, whether you want your other person back or you want someone new. That choice is on you guys. But the potential here for new love is is massive you know it's huge this abundance very 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 abundant at this moment in time and that's why those quotes that we said in this reading are going to really benefit you if you use them on a daily basis they will help you they will help bring in the new to you it's not all a load of cuckoo there are so many universal laws that we work with it's not just the law of attraction there are so many universal laws that we work with and we collaborate them all together for you to bring out the reactions and, and actions and energies that you want, okay? You are going through a time of being very, very abundant and prosperous. So bring in the new, let the new come. Let the new energy step into your life. You will have a difficult time when it comes to making a choice. You have definitely got a choice between two definite choice between two and you might think okay that's going to be really easy i'll just pick this one and that one um light spirit said go for one that eases your heart more but this choice is not going to be easy it won't be an easy choice for you but it will be one that leads to these new beginnings okay so there's a lot of new beginnings coming forward with debt number one there's a lot of new opportunities and there is news new news coming towards you get ready to receive spirit just said really clearly get ready to receive keeping your power keeping that strong energy you are no longer the queen of cups you are the queen of wands you are the queen of swords my two favorite i struggle between whether i like the queen of swords swords or the queen of wands more I, it depends on my mood but step into that energy step into that power based energy bring to you what it is that you desire and require and deserve um new love and old love returning also, but new love coming to you, okay? Be ready to receive. And that is deck number one. Uh, if you need me, turnaround time is down on videos at the moment for private readings. Um, I've been working really, really hard because I've just, the restrictions have got a bit funny again in England, so it's like I'm gonna start working again all the time. So if you need me, just drop me a message. Um, I'm sending tons of love to you all, my debt number ones. Look after yourself and I will speak to you soon. God bless, angels. Okay, guys, deck number two. Well, we're going to start off with the Lenormand, which is why I'm showing you this one first. So what we're going to do, just go into all of your energies. We work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situation. And we pull out the strongest mutual energy, okay? So can you tell me, please, what is going to happen next? in deck number two's love life. So we're gonna do the Lenomar first, then we're gonna shift over to the Tarot. Lenomar works completely different from Tarot. Um, if you need me for private readings, the turnaround time is down at the moment because uh, lockdowns have gone a bit more stricter in the UK where I am. So I'm working nonstop. If you need me, just give me a shout. Okay, some of you guys are moving house or debating moving house or switching area or moving location. 
but you're not entirely sure whether this is the right choices for you. Now, if it's not a physical house move, this is talking about new beginnings happening within your home environment. It's quite interesting that your cards, you've got some of the same Lenormand cards as uh, deck number one. Complete different deck, completely different deck. So the first thing that we're coming up is we have house and child. So this over here is talking about new beginnings within your house. So again, some of you might be thinking about moving house, moving area. If you're not thinking that, this is talking about new beginnings in your love life stepping into your home. So there's a new beginning very much coming forward if this is a path that you want to choose, if this is the direction you want to go in. You're going through a period of transformation, Spirit is saying, you're no longer feeling as vulnerable as what you were before. And with this, this is this chance, this new cusps coming forward. Now, a timing on these new beginnings over here, Spirit are giving a four to six, which can be four to six weeks, four to six months. Either way, there is a new beginning coming forward. Transformation. Okay, you have been feeling, you, you are standing in a more power-based energy. You've been feeling on top of your game. For the first time in quite some time, you've been feeling on top of your game. I've just got a, a song, I think it was Gwen Stefani, Me Without You. So if you're thinking of moving on from your person that you were involved in before, that song is a very, very kick-ass song for you. The other one that's coming forward um, is Lover by Taylor Swift. I always think we could start a playlist with songs that they give you in, in your readings. Start a playlist on like Spotify or something for, for Mystic Love Tarot's playlist from Spirit. So you have this sense of I'm standing in my power, um, I'm ready to receive my new beginnings, I'm ready to get what it is that I want from the situation. Now with that, there are, have been blocks or there will be blocks, there are obstacles. So sometimes um, when you've been in your power-based energy, you've kind of created a bit of a wall all right, because you haven't wanted to come over as vulnerable. You've created a bit of a wall and it's very, very hard for people to infiltrate that wall. And that's not a negative, that's not a downside to anything, it's just a fact, okay? You've been hurt in the past, you don't wanna get hurt again, so you've created these blocks, these walls to protect yourself. Now with that and these new beginnings coming forward for you, whether it's with your old person, whether it's with someone new, um, these blocks are still gonna be there and Spirit are saying it's gonna take a bit of time to melt the ice. So it's going to take time for things to shift in your direction. It's going to take time for things to move with regard to the walls falling down or melting the ice. And um, because you are on this self-protect energy, you are looking after yourself um, and you are a little bit cautious about letting people into your heart again to get hurt. So these blocks, these roadblocks will automatically start to fade when you start to build trust with the person that is coming into your love life. Again, either your person returning or someone new. These blocks will start to shift, these melting of the ice will happen. And once that happens, you start to build a connection between you and your person. Now with this dog over here, you've got this red thread, red thread of destiny, okay? so. There's an old, I think it was a Japanese, pro, Japanese. Um, someone can correct me if I've got it wrong. The Red Thread of Destiny, I'm sure it's Japanese, that says that two people that are meant to be together are connected by a red thread. Okay, and that red thread that connects the two of them together means that they are meant to be together. So even with these blocks, you still have this red thread of destiny. With that as well, with the dog coming up, Spirit are taking us away from a friendship side of things and saying that this is a focus on unconditional love. So there is very much a strong connection between you and your person or your person to be. There is a sense of destiny coming forward, but there are also, with these blocks in the way, this unconditional love is what is going to be melting those blocks. And through melting those blocks and this unconditional love, you have heart. And this heart symbolizes commitment. It symbolizes love. It symbolizes new beginnings. It symbolizes passion. It symbolizes everything that you want in a relationship. Okay, So this unconditional love will be leading to a relationship. And when we take it very, very back to the start, because that's how Lenormand work, they link at the start. We then go like this. This love is going to be transferred into your home, which is going to create those changes, these new beginnings, stepping into your home, that you are going to be standing in this power-based energy, the blocks are going to be melting and you've got unconditional love and it goes in that loop. So you can see very much over here that this connection that you are thinking of or the person that you want to be with or someone new, there is a sense of commitment coming forward from them.
okay it's just that you've got your walls up a little bit that's going to take icebergs you know the icebergs have got to melt when i do past life clearing sometimes spirit will take us to an iceberg they either take us um if you haven't booked a past life reading go and have a look at the website it's all on there um but when we do the clearings on that spirit will either take us to a desert a field or an iceberg depending on the situation and you'll find that the ice melts when we do the clearing on the icebergs okay so there is that love connection between you both so let's just do the tarot at the same time while we are at it. Deck number two. Deck number two is thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two. I haven't used this deck in ages. And then yesterday in a reading, I had a really strong clairvoyant image of it. I thought, oh, we best use this one. That deck is calling me. I've got like over 200 decks, but my decks call me for the decks that we have to use. Okay. I know that makes me sound like a weirdo, but that is who I am. I am a weirdo. <laughs> I fully embrace the psychic weirdo in me. Um, okay. What is going to happen next with deck number two's love life? What is going to happen next? Interesting. Two. Yes. Yes. Get in, my friends. You are doing phenomenal. Oh. Okay. 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 So, where things... Let me just put these up at the top so I can see them at the same time. Where things have been stagnant, where things have not been shifting, where things have been shitty and a bit crappy and you've been feeling very low and you've put your walls up, all of that is coming to a close. Now with the death card coming up here, Spirit are saying to me, this isn't a symbology of things coming to an end for you. This is very much a symbology of the new beginnings. And that's kind of how the death card works. It does mean things come to a close, but it also means new beginnings step in. So if you and your person that you're thinking of has been stagnant, that stagnancy is coming to a close. If you are single and you have been stagnant, that stagnancy is coming to a close and we very much have new beginnings coming forward. It's only through death um, new life can be grown, Spirit is saying. And they're also talking about flowers. You know, when they show me clairvoyant image of a flower, when we plant a bulb, we water the bulb, we put manure on the bulb, um, and the bulb turns into a flower. And it's only through the shit, literally, it's only through the shit that things can grow, okay? You grow. And that is what's happened. You've been going through this period of growth, and now you're getting ready for these new, uh, new beginnings to step forward towards you. We have the hermit coming up over here. So there has been a lot of reflection going on. You've been feeling that like you've been ready to kind of cross this bridge for some time, that you've been standing on the way, uh, edge of the bridge. You haven't known whether to start to cross it, to see what's on the other side, but you're getting ready for these new opportunities to come your way. You are standing in a very, very divine female energy at the moment. Now, remember on this channel, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with Taro and Lenoma, it works with male and female energies. Um, so regardless of your sex um, or your gender or your sexual orientation, it, it's, it's irrelevant, okay? Female energy here, your energy, you guys watching, you are standing in a power, okay? And this power is really bringing forward the new beginning. Now, if we have a look again over here with the full moon and the full moon coming up into Pisces as we, as we speak, this is talk about a time of releasing. It might be worth doing a bit of releasing work as that new as the full moon hits. A lot of there's a lot of misconception around the moon. With the new moon, it's all about bringing new stuff in. With the full moon, it is about releasing. Okay, so maybe write a list of what it is that you want to release. Go and bury it. Give it back to Gaia. Let it go. Shift it. Change it. And with that as well, spirit talking about aligning your chakras, keeping your energy as high vibration as possible, even if it just take, uh, you know, 10 minutes every morning to align your chakras. And if you don't want to do that, get chakra crystals, you know. So for your root chakra, red jasper, that's all about security, stability, finance, money. Um, for your so uh, for your sacral chakra, which is all about sex, fertility, gender, um, also to do with the liquids in your body, not gender, liquids in your body, scrap gender, that was spirit talking to me. Um, carnelian is really good for that you go up to your solar plexus it's to do with confidence also to do with the bones in your body so if you have issues with any of your bones yellow uh calcite 
going up to your heart chakra, aventurine, rose quartz, anything like that for your heart center, your emotions, your throat chakra, turquoise, communication, also to do with any of your um, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, if you get a cold or anything like that, it's all to do with your throat chakra, so turquoise or um, any kind of blue crystal will be really good for that. Going up to your third uh, third eye, lapis lazuli is my absolute favorite for the third eye. Really gives that third eye a boost. And then with your crown chakra, amethyst is what we would recommend. So if you can't be bothered to cleanse your, cleanse your chakras every day, the crystals will be really beneficial to you. You are in this time of really soaking in the energy of the earth. You are getting ready for the earth to take, uh, to give to you what it is that you want. It's been hard work. Okay, it has been hard work, but that hard work is now paying off. And again, if we look at the flowers here and the woman watering, it comes back to what I said over here, that through the shit times, you have to grow, you grow, you blossom. And like, just like that as well, Spirit just showed me the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis. It is a period of transformation for you and you're coming out the other side of it. And when, as you're stepping out of the other side of this, these new beginnings are stepping into your energy, okay? There is a return, um, if you're thinking about your specific person, looks to be returns of that, but also opening up expanse for new people to come towards you. Your hard work is going to pay off. It's been a very, very difficult year for you all, a very difficult year, but it's time for these new beginnings to step into your energy. And with that, we have the two of cups. So you are gonna, you are in love, you are gonna fall in love, you are gonna get everything that you want, this connection that you are thinking of is the person for you. This is the love that you want, this is the love you desire, this is the love you deserve, and the love will be returned, okay? But it's only through releasing that this can happen. Again, try use that full moon energy to do the release work. The love is strong, the love is real. There's new beginnings stepping into your house and your home. You're gonna be melting your icebergs. And through that, you've got this love, this commitment, this strength, the unconditional love between the two of you that resides. You will be on guard for a little bit. You will be on self-protect for a little bit, but that's okay. You know, it's okay. And it's okay to feel shit, remember that. You don't have to feel okay all the time, but try not to hold on to it. Remember, it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality. So if you are spiraling and you're getting this negative spiral, go and distract yourself, go see your friends, go enjoy yourself. If you can't change your mind frame on it because it's too difficult, just distract yourself. Go put some good stuff on TV. Um, on Apple TV, there's a really engrossing program at the moment that I'm loving called C. It's so magical, so mystical. And the scenery, uh, I never wanted to go to Canada so much in my life as I was watching that. So go and have, um, you know, distract yourself. Keep yourself busy, keep yourself occupied. New beginnings in your home are coming. Releasing of old situations. Um, there is gonna be a bit of a, rocket rocket and a roller coaster in the next couple of weeks as you do surrender because you're going to be feeling that you're not quite ready to cross the bridge but you will you'll take those steps in crossing it and once you do cross it spirit is saying life is going to change life won't be the same and that new beginnings can happen that commitment can come in also commitment to yourself, you know? Uh, Neville Goddard said that everything or not, he, he didn't say it quite like this, he said it in a way, a way that always makes me think everything is you upside down, inside out. But what it's saying is he says that our outside world is a reflection of our inside world. So if we're looking for commitment from someone else, we need to commit to ourselves first. And by doing that, you can use affirmations such as I am committed, I am loved, I am phenomenal, I am in an amazing relationship. Anything along those lines, give yourself that commitment to let it echo onto your outside world, okay? Connection here, bonding, kindling, rekindling, new adventures, new possibilities, and very much new beginnings in the house. Be prepared for some house moving. Be prepared that some of you are gonna to choose to move in with your person. Be prepared that you might wanna to choose to move location. New beginnings are stepping forward. These icebergs will melt. And once these icebergs start melting, if you go gentle, you can have everything that you wish. How cool is that? What an empowering reading. What an empowering reading. Um, okay, guys, so if you need me, I'll put all the details in the comments for you. Um, website is up if you wanna go have a look at it. Turnaround time is down to seven to 14 days. It won't last. So if you wanna book now, it is the time to do it. Um, I'm sending tons of love to you all, my little mystical tribe. 
take care of yourselves and I will speak to you soon. God bless angels. Bye.